everyone so in the first chapter of this module we created the trigger framework we created an interface named i trigger handler which has just one run method then we created an abstract trigger handler class this will again extend this run uh, method and then this will also have all the variables to handle the trigger context variable and then there was a dispatcher class which will have a dispatch method this will take the instance of a uh, eye trigger handler interface or any class any instance of a class which is going to implement this interface okay bit confusing i agree let me create a generic class for account specific trigger handler okay let me first create this class and then i will explain you what it is doing okay i already have account trigger handler so that is why i'm creating version 2 of it and this class is going to extend my abstract trigger handler okay that means i'll have to provide the body for run method okay and i will have the access to these protected variables that is the purpose why i am trying to do this okay now the moment i extend this abstract trigger handler abstract class i will have to provide the body for the run method so i will write public void run because i am overriding it i'll have to write the override keyword with the run method <coughs> now this run method will have everything which we have on the abstract trigger handler like all these variables okay so let us write some logic here inside this i will say if is before and let's say is insert because is before and is inserts are already boolean variable is before and is insert i am going to use the same okay okay sorry spelling is wrong i'll have to write is insert then let's say i will do a let's call a method handle before insert okay i will call this method okay and let's write the handle before insert somewhere in the class okay similarly for other things like is after uh before insert let's call it before update let's call it handle before update create a method for that before insert before update let's call it after insert and let's call it handle after insert let's create a method for this let's go with these only okay oh what we have got so many errors so let's sort them out let's write them okay private void why private because i don't want this to be accessible outside i want this to be called within the class similarly this is also going to be private void this is also going to be private void let's save this all right we are good La now let's write some logic in the before insert because i think that is where i am going to check this is going to be for account so i will get the list of account let's call it account acc or let's better call it current account and we will loop through the new records we have created the new records here which is the list of uh, records we get via trigger.new so let's create let's loop it through the new records and the, the, the whatever we can check anything let's say if current account dot let's put some validation let's say if type is blank 
if type is blank let's say is call is equals to this then throw an error okay. current account dot add error let's call it account cannot be of blank type please select a type okay simple very simple we're not doing anything fancy if the type is blank okay sorry this is the variable okay got it got it got it got it so this new record we will have to first type cast as well let's type cast it to account because we are getting a generic s object instead of account so that we'll have to first do the type casting and then only it will become an account so what we did we've got the list of new record we type casted it on account and then we have looped through this we checked if type is blank then we will throw the error this is what it is doing but we have not updated the trigger code yet so let's open our account trigger account trigger is blank let's go and check what we need to write on this account trigger so on the trigger we need not to do much trigger is already there we just need to make sure that we are calling the dispatcher class uh, trigger dispatcher dot dispatch method so let's copy it we need not to do anything dispatch just here you have to tell so see this dispatcher is expecting an input which is the instance of a i trigger handler here you will have to tell okay which class you want to run when the account trigger happens so we have written account trigger handler for this case right so we will call the account trigger handler here that's it that's all you need to do inside the trigger that's all you need to do so the the line here which it says that okay it takes the input why i was able to pass the account trigger handler is because account trigger handler is extending the abstract trigger handler and this abstract trigger handler is implementing the interface that is why i was able to pass the new account trigger handler version 2 here and this is going to be the only line we will be writing be it before insert be it uh, after insert be it before update be it after update or be it delete also all we need to make sure that we have a valid account trigger handler class and then this class is handling all the scenarios rest of the things are handled by the abstract trigger handler like whatever we pass via trigger will be instantiated here and then run method will be called and then it will check if it is before then it will go to the before insert method and whatever logic you wrote here it will be called but now if you see the design you will see that your trigger is very clean like there is no line at all there is no spaghetti code inside your trigger okay so that is the advantage you get if you go with a trigger framework i'm not saying this is the best or this is the only trigger framework or this is the only way in order to be able to uh, encapsulate all the object oriented program uh, programming concepts i have built it now let us cover the uh, object oriented programming concepts we created an interface which uh, basically builds the encapsulation provides you the flexibility to use the encapsulation we are using the abstract class okay which is also nothing but the encapsulation we are using the trigger dispatcher okay trigger dispatcher is using the dispatch method we are using run method multiple times so that is polymorphism same name multiple implementations of that along with that we are using multiple other things like abstract keyword uh, we are using the override and a lot of other things we are using overall they are the combination of all the four concepts we have encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and abstraction you are inheriting the properties of abstract trigger handler here in the account trigger handler abstract trigger handler is inheriting the contract it got from our 
interface so all those four concepts of playing a picture here in order for us to be able to build this framework that is why i'm saying that those concepts are very essential for you to be able to understand a trigger framework or any other design pattern when i was new i saw a, a trigger framework i never i did not understand it because i was not aware of those concepts and i was always in a fix that why why we used uh private here like why why are we using private or why are we using overwrite why we have created an interface why I have created an abstract class so because i have gone through those problems i don't want you all to face those problems if you are watching this video and if you have not gone through the theoretical concepts of those which i have taught in the previous sessions please go through them first then only attempt this now let us put some debug logs here to see the order of execution how it is happening okay so let's put a debug uh, statement i find it very useful to explain the uh, sequence how it is happening so i'm going to put some debug statement let's call it uh, came inside the trigger okay once the trigger will be called you will create a in uh, you will insert an account trigger will be called and you will come here after that this will be called right so you will come here let's write a system dot debug statement here came inside the run method inside class okay now if you are doing the before insert you will come here so let's write a system dot debug here let's call it came inside before insert logic okay now you will call the handle before insert right so let's go and put a system dot debug statement here system dot debug executing before insert logic on account all right and let's let us also debug the record system dot debug let us debug the new records okay let me save this why this is not saved Now why I'm saying this is uh, this is helpful is because now in the trigger you need not to be worried about how it is running in the back end, how trigger dispatcher is dispatching your trigger and how even the trigger dispatcher you will see you will just see a run method. So you will not get to know how actually it is happening in the back end, how actually it is happening in the back end is defined by the combination of account trigger handler and the class is, is it is extending which is abstract trigger handler so they hold the whole concepts of how it is working but on the front you need not to be worried about it that is why we are abstracting the whole complexity of your code into the back end and in the front you need not to be worried about anything okay how we are able to do with all the four concepts we have learned through those 15 sessions before this okay put some debug statements now let us try to uh, see if it is working or not for that let us go to accounts and create a new account let's call it test account one two three and let's not put the type here and try to save this we will get an error because account cannot be blank okay so this is the error we are getting because we have got this error because we tried to do a new account insert which is the before insert but then type was null so let us go back to the logs and see the order of execution first okay and if it it, it matches 
with uh, what we have written or not so it came inside the trigger then it came to the run method inside the account trigger handler class then it came to the before insert logic then it started executing the before insert logic and then this was a new record we debug because the type was null we were not able to insert and we were uh, we throw the error but we have implemented the whole account trigger without writing any logic inside the trigger we delegated all the things to our trigger framework all right so i hope you were able to understand this do go through this again try to write it on your own i'm not saying this is best i'm not saying this is the only framework this is just the very basic this can be way better and in the next session i am there is one thing which uh, we are not doing very well which is um, hard coding the uh, class name here so for this i am going to use the custom metadata and we will be delegating that work to the metadata class all right so from here we will just pass the whichever account whichever object we are running trigger on and then we will create a custom metadata which will hold the object name and the cl associated class name which needs to run for that particular object and then we will run that class so instead of passing the uh, hard coded class name we are going to delegate that work as well i hope you enjoyed it and feel free to uh, ping your questions on the group or on linkedin and i'll be more than happy to answer it thank you